Hi there. A user in the DVD styler forum has made a post because he gets this error when trying to make a DVD. Entry PTT is not allowed for menu type VMGM. I have seen similar posts before about this kind of errors and uh, I thought I'd try to make a video about what menu type you can have on a DVD and the significance of what entry is used for menus. And I'm improvising, so bear with me. Uh, before carrying on, perhaps I should mention that PTT stands for part of a title. It's also called chapter, so just so you know. I've started DVD Styler here, and uh, I'm currently using DVD Styler 2.9.4, and I'm on a Windows 8 system. I start by making a new project. I'm going to use NTSC for this project, I think, and I don't want any templates. This leaves me with a blank menu here. And I could start by add another menu. And you'll see down here I add an VMGM menu. Now I got two menus here. I could also use uh, DVD add and select it here. Instead I'll, I'll select menu just. And I'm going to use some of those. So let me add some menus, like three here. Now what we have over here is known as the video manager domain. And what we have over here is called the title set domain or video title set domain, also VTS domain. And there's a difference of whether a menu resides in the title set domain or in the video manager domain. Now, if I double click on this menu to get its uh, property sheet, you'll see here it has an entry. And the only possibility for entry is title. If I go to my title set and double click on a menu here, you see these menus has several possibility for entry. It could be root, subtitle, angel, chapter, audio. The significance or the main significance of what type of entry you're using, say audio here, is that on your remote controller there is a button, there is probably a button called audio. And pressing that button will invoke this menu. Okay, that uh, similar here. Now if I say this has an entry, your remote controller could have a button called title. But depending on the manufacturer, it could be called DVD menu or perhaps menu or whatever. But most likely there is a button. And I OK that, so now I don't actually have specified any entry. So I make entry title for my first menu here. And of course, since this corresponds to a button on your remote controller, you can only have one menu that has entry title because it needs to be unique. So if I choose to have entry title for my second menu, you'll notice it now gets unticked for the first menu. 
same goes around here. Uh, in a video title set, there has to be one root, a menu can have use more than one entry in the video title set domain. So if you press audio or you press a button called root, and this button can have several names, again, depending on what manufacturer it comes from. It could be called root or menu, or in my case, it's called return root. Um, so you have to figure out what button on your remote corresponds to this. I OK that. And again, if I double click back to see, this was also audio. And of course, it has to be unique as well. So if I make this audio as well, it should disappear over here, and it does. Now, just because I use an entry, audio, and I invoke this by pressing audio on my button. This doesn't mean that the actually action I'm making on the menu has to, has to do with audio. It could be anything. Like if I place this, I could use that to say, jump to my VMG menu. This has nothing to do with audio, but uh, just so you know that. This menu, I haven't specified any entry, so it's without entry. If I go over here and I place a button on that, I could use a navigation to jump to a menu. You notice I could I can jump to a menu, root or audio. However, I will just cancel there. I can't jump to menu number three. In order to jump from my video manager domain to a menu, it needs to have an entry. Before I carry on, I would like to have a video in my project, so I do like this, because then I can add another title set like this, and I could uh, also get a, say like this, a video in this title set. Because I said that uh, in a title set, there needs to be one root, one menu that has a uh, root as entry. So that's okay. But what happens if I delete this menu and I am without any menu in this title set? Well, the default setting for DVD styler in its option is that this box is ticked, it'll create an empty VMG or title set root menu if they don't exist. So you actually don't have to think about or care about that uh, you need a, a menu. DVD Styler will create one for you. So I can delete this. I showed you how this navigation from the VM, from the video manager domain, couldn't jump to a menu without uh, having any entry. So if I instead use a menu within the title set and try to navigate from there, you'll see that from here it's possible to select a menu that doesn't have any entry. I OK that, go back up here, because DVD Styler has, besides the option of creating an, an empty menu if it needed, can also create what is called jump pad. 
and jump pad makes stuff possible that really isn't because behind your back DVD styler you can see here now you can actually jump to that menu without any entry because when using jump pads DVD styler behind your back makes a jump into the title set domain and from here you can access this menu without any entry so it's a nice thing to have it also makes it possible to say you really can't jump to a chapter within a title from the video manager domain you can only do that from the video title set domain but when using jump pads it appears that you can just jump to the chapter within a title also a nice thing to have similar for audio tracks and so on uh, I'll just delete that button but just to return to uh, the error encountered by the user uh, how can a, a menu in the video manager domain suddenly have an entry of a chapter when uh, the only possible entry to make for a video manager menu is uh, title and frankly I don't know what I could think of is if you use a menu in the title set domain and you gave this an entry of chapter and then move that into the video manager domain it'll keep the entry but I could make a test here try to make an ISO image I'll call that error it gives a somewhat similar uh, uh, error just call it unknown entry so what I could do is actually either give it a title or OK it should now be without any entry and see if that would work and it appears so so that could be a solution for the problem here but basically you sh should be very careful if if that's really the case that you move menu from the title set domain into the video manager domain maybe this could be helpful but uh, bye from now